Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 Cydia tweaks that are compatible with iOS 8.4. Alright guys, so the first tweak on my list is Status Vol 2. And uh, what this tweak does is it basically minimizes the um, volume UI. And it puts it right at the top of the screen so it's not going to be obstructing your view. So if I go ahead and turn up my volume, as you can see, we get a little banner at the top. And it's not going to be obstructing the view, so if you're watching a YouTube video then um, it's much better to have this tweak installed. So let's go into the settings for it. As you can see here, we have theming options, so you can choose to use squares, and um, otherwise it gives you circles like that. Uh, a few other things there, animation options, so you can choose the animation duration, make it stay on the screen longer, and uh, sticky duration, and then some legacy options. So yeah, that is status bold too. PC loader allows you to remove parts of the control center that you don't like. So if we go into the settings for CC Loader, as you can see we have enabled sections and then disabled sections. And what you basically do is you can drag these panels um, from enabled to disabled and choose the things that you actually want to display in Control Center. So let's say all we want is the quick launch settings. As you can see now, we scroll up um, from Control Center and all we have is the quick launch settings. And um, you don't need a respring for this, so if we change this to brightness, as you can see, all we get is a little brightness slider. And um, it really is quite cool because a lot of people don't really use all of Control Center. I know that I never use AirDrop, and um, I don't. Re I rarely use Media Controls. So if, if we just have uh, launch, quick launch, brightness, and settings, that's a pretty good Control Center for me. So yeah, that is CC Loader. This next one is called Codling, and this was actually a tweak for Cydia itself. So if we go into Cydia and refresh it, you'll notice that the reloading data um, box will be more of a blur. And it looks really nice, as you can see there. It's much better than it was before, and it's just a nice little thing you can do to Cydia. Um, there are a few settings for it as well, so if we go to Codling, as you can see, you can enable it or disable it. And then there's two styles, the dark and light. Share tweak is another tweak that actually tweaks Cydia itself, and what this one allows you to do is share and in share information about a particular tweak. So if we go ahead and let's choose the minimal camera two, as you can see, there's a little share button at the top here. So we click that, and it will give us an option to install it if we want. But what you can also do is share or share URL. So if we click share, it's going to bring up a share sheet, and we can choose from Twitter messages, mail. So if we go Twitter. It's going to pop up with Twitter and it's going to um, put in some stuff for us here about the tweak. As you can see, it is actually minus 60 characters, so it doesn't really calculate um, the amount of uh, characters you're going to have in a tweet, but you, you can delete some of this stuff, but it is quite cool anyway. And um, it puts a little image there of the tweak. So, yeah, that is share tweak. Now, Bativator brings the iOS 9 style um, battery saving feature into iOS 8. So if we go to the settings here, as you can see right at the top, we will have this uh, battery thing here, and we can turn on power saving mode. And as you can see, just like on iOS 9, my battery indicator at the top is now gone orange, and um, it is saving the battery. So you can choose from how it's going to save battery, turn off auto brightness, disable auto downloads, a few other things here. But um, yeah, so it will help to save your battery if you seem to have bad battery life on iOS 8. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and I will see you next time.